Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Malcolma, all right, from the branch of GMS here in Chicago, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shalom Shai, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. Um, and uh, I'd like to say uh, salutations to the Akim out there that risk their lives and their freedom doing this work in truth and sincerity, the confusion of face. Akim that are joined unto us in the Aquaf that are listening and learning. This is a video directly uh, made and directed directly at the Orthodox Moor. And I'm going to tell you, bro, I think you're full of it. I don't think that you're sincere. I think you're seeking a platform. Um, all your questions were definitely answered. All right. And the truth of the matter is, you just have a lack of understanding, man. Um, and uh, when, we, when I'm going to address Ezekiel, the. Uh, the 12th chapter, because you don't, because if you keep reading, it explains that that's still speaking of in the future. There is no, you, you spoke about the, uh, the people that went over Demona. There is no scripture that says that you would go to Israel on your own. The Lord is going to take you to the, uh, to the land of Israel when it's that time. Israel has to be destroyed and cleansed as, as spoken of in uh, Isaiah 66 and Isaiah 63. Those prophecies take place before Ezekiel 12 and 14. Israel is still in place and has not been cleansed of the heathen yet. All right. So that's a lack of understanding on your your uh, uh, on your side. And and where are your works, man? Where have you been for the last 10 years, man? You just come. I, I honestly, I believe that you're agent. I believe that you're working with vocab alone. You're set up by the same people that he is. And I don't think that you're being true, man. And if I'm wrong, then Salakia. But I don't think that I'm wrong, all right? But I'm going to answer it anyway for edification's sake, to prove you wrong and to edify Israel. So, um, starting at verse 12, it says, Therefore prophesy, and this is Ezekiel 37 and 12, about the dry bones, all right? Which you didn't disagree with, that that's Israel, okay? So we have that, all right? But this part, let's get it. It says, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh Power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. It didn't mean right then and there. You don't wake up and go back to the land of Israel. Prophecies have to play out. That's the answer. And here's the precept to it. This is Isaiah 26 and 19. Let's go to Isaiah 26 and 19, my man. And another thing I would say, too, you you, see, you seem like you, you've really been reading and studying up, you know, and you, you're speaking as, as we of that these prophesies apply to you. But yet you calling yourself a more. All right. The, the, the Lord, the Lord power, Yahweh, Yahweh, as we and Yahweh shy, as we call him, because that's proper. Prove to me that it isn't. Matter of fact, that's a question to you. Prove to me that the name of, of the Lord is not Yahweh shy. OK. Um. They're going to take take us into that land. This is a and and a follower of them wouldn't refer to themselves as a more because it, there's no prophecies in, in the book of the Quran. All right. You're not using the Quran for anything. You're using the Bible, but yet you're calling yourself a more. That makes no sense, bro. All right. There are no prophecies in, in the Quran. As a matter of fact, when you really get into the Quran, it tells that the children of Israel, it, call, it refers to them as the preeminent race. That means the number one in the top race. And it tells them to return unto their heritage and unto their book. And it, and it says that in about three or four different places. All right. So why are you still calling yourself a more? That's my question to you. This is 26 and, uh, um, and what was it? 19. And it reads. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body shall they arise awake and sing because we talked about the new song. All right. That's the new that's the new book, because this is a book, because in the book that they were using, this was was the Lord. OK. All right. That's why you have a book called a revelations, because the truth had to be revealed. That's the new song, the new covenant spoken of in Hebrews. All right. As the Lord is going to put it in our inward parts. All right. So that we don't go off again. It's as simple as that. It's not going to be a whole new list of, uh, uh, of scriptures, man. You err in not knowing the scriptures, man. All right. It says, and thy dead men shall live together with thy dead body. Shall they arise, awake and sing ye that dwell in the dust. For the dew is the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead, man. 
Okay, and that's that's the Israelites waking up again to who they are, man. All right, now let's go back to Ezekiel and keep reading. Verse 13, and ye shall know that I am the how when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, and ye shall know that the, the Lord that I, Yahweh, have spoken it and performed it. All right? You got to keep reading. It doesn't mean you're going to wake up and then go right back to the land. Prophecies have to take place. You got to wake up first, do the work. All right? The elect has to be sealed. You can't leave out that part. The elect has to be sealed. Okay? The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Moreover, son, here it is. Make up a seed. So why do they have to make up a stick? The 12 tribe sign. If they went right back, you're going to go to the land of Israel where we're already there and make up a stick and put all the 12 tribes on it. You, Aaron, not knowing the scriptures, man. All right. And and the and Yahweh. Salakia, verse 15, and the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And all you got to do is put up some more images of me, which you wouldn't sort out with my camp, and look at all the Judites and all the northern kingdom all together, and all the different brothers and camps that are likewise across, across America and around the world who do the same, man. All right. You are not knowing the scriptures, man. Your I asked your your, your uh, questions accurately and correctly. You just are not knowing the scriptures and not understanding the prophecies, man, because the Lord ain't dealing with you, bro, because I think you fake. I think that you a liar and I think that you a false prophet trying to capitalize, man. All right. And if I'm wrong, then Salakia, but I don't think that I am, man. So with that, I'm going to say all praises, glory and honor be unto you. How about you now? Shy and Shalom.